What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tyson. Yes, Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. Tyson Fury says that Wilder will knock out Anthony Joshua in two rounds if he doesn't defeat Deontay Wilder. So Tyson Fury already gives his prediction of who would win between Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. This is no surprise to me, me counterpunching and, and my reaction to this particular comment from Fury because Fury's already made this comment. Okay, do you guys remember the uh, the press conference after the fight? Um, he said that with Anthony Joshua's reflexes, he won't be able to dodge that big, huge right hand and he was able to catch me with it. So I know Anthony Joshua will get caught with that right hand and he won't be able to withstand the power of Wilder, okay? So this is no surprise to me, you know? And also looking at this further, <clears throat> Wilder with his power, that's what he has, okay? Joshua has better boxing fundamentals, but so do a lot of fighters. Um, the crazy thing about this particular comment is it could be true. That's given what happens in the fight between J AJ and DW, right? Because Wilder is a guy that he's looking for that one shot. He's not looking for two or three. He's not worried about combinations. He's not worried about putting punches together or any of that. He's worried about one punch. That's what makes him so dangerous because the one punch that he is looking for can take you out. You know, but to base that on if he beats me, no, I don't I think that's irrelevant. I think that if Tyson Fury is able to slip out of victory and be slippery like a fish, like he claims. You know, I don't think that that has anything to do with Anthony Joshua at all. You know, he admits in himself, Tyson Fury, that Anthony Joshua fights nothing like uh, Deontay Wilder. That's why it's not a necessity for him to be in training camp. The only reason he wanted him to be in training camp is because Anthony Joshua offered. That's the only reason. It doesn't have anything to do with similarities at all. Those guys fight totally different, you know. Joshua's going to work the jab. He's going to look for angles. You know, the only angle Deontay Wilder's looking for is that right hand. You know, and if he can't find that, if you're coming in for an attack, he's going to um, he's going to put his, his dupes up. He's going to block. He's not worried about slipping and moving and anything like that. The, the most impressive thing that I've seen Deontay Wilder do was he did pivot and he countered uh, Luis Ortiz, when, uh, when Ortiz was gassed in the first fight and caught Ortiz with a solid right hand, you know, and that's coming off the rope. So he used the rope ropes uh, as a part of his pivot, okay? And he countered off the ropes, which was pretty impressive. But other than that, he doesn't do those type of things every day and all the time because like he claims, he doesn't need to. I got power. <laughs> I don't need to do all that other shit. <laughs> but... Uh, but I don't know, you know, this is Tyson Fury's, you know, his his prediction. You know, he, he feels that he'll knock out Anthony Joshua. I think he always felt that way, you know. But we just have to really see, you know, it really doesn't mean much, you know, because I think him um, talking about Anthony Joshua is not helping him or his focus with Deontay Wilder. He has to worry about Wilder, not Joshua, okay? And in fact, according to him, if he gets past um, Wilder, he's going to talk to Dana White about UFC and fighting with four-ounce gloves and shit like that and with boxing rules. So he's not really concerned about Anthony Joshua. But again, this is Tyson Fury, which his mind and his thoughts are all over the place along with his opinions. They're split, you know, they're back and forth. So it is what it is. You know, I think that that Fury needs to worry about making his his newfound style work against Wilder. Because remember, 
Tyson Fury is he left Davison because he wanted a knockout style. So he has to worry if his knockout flat footed style, that's what I'm imagining, he's gonna be flat footed, you know, and if he comes in limping like he claims he can't move around like he is, if he's whatever, right? If he has some type of damage to his uh ankle or leg, so he's gonna have to stand and fight with Wilder. Doing that is a very hard task. And I think he should worry about getting knocked out in two rounds. And that's my counterpunch on that. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.